Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter five, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to be dividing decimals by whole numbers. So you will need to remember your dirty monkey smell completely bad or does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. Now it does give us quite a bit of room to be able to do this. So I'm not gonna worry about scratch paper. So, okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Okay, well, the first thing that you need to do when you're dividing by decimal is lift up the decimal directly over where it is in the problem. Okay, then you're going to go six doesn't go into five, placeholder. Okay, six will go into 50 eight times, eight times six. Let me do this. Okay, so I did my division. Eight times six is 48. That's my multiplying. Okay, I'm going to get two. Okay, that's my subtraction. Check. All that means is is two smaller than the six. Yes, it is. So then I can bring down. Okay, so now six goes into 24. Four times four times six is 24. I subtract, I get zero. My answer, 0.84. Okay, all right. We're going to go ahead and do number three. Okay, actually, you know what I'm going to also, so when you get to one where you don't know the multiples of them, there's no shame in your game if you use a calculator just to find your multiples, not to do your math, just to find your multiples. So I know that I have 23 and then I'll have 46, but after that I'll have 69, so times 4, 92. Okay, I'm going to stop there for now, but eventually, if you need to go a little bit further, go a little bit further. Now, there's nothing wrong with using your calculator to find your multiples. You do not use a calculator to do your math, okay? Now, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. Okay, 23 is not going to go into 8. Oh, and I didn't lift up my decimal, so there we go, decimal, okay? 23 will go into 85. It looks like 3 times is as much as we're going to get. Okay, three times 23 is 69. When I subtract, uh, I need to borrow. So 15 take away nine is six, seven take away six is one, I have 16. Okay, 16 is smaller than 23, so I'm gonna bring down my one, and it looks like I'll have to go a little bit further with my 23, okay? So 23 times five is gonna be 115. 23 times 6 is 138. 23 times 7 is 161. And look at that. Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. 7 for 161, subtract, get 0. Okay? All right. So I'm going to skip number 4. Okay, you guys can totally do that. I'm going to actually do. Um, Actually, you no, know, we'll do number four, but I want you to remember on number five, that has a dollar sign. Make sure that whatever your answer is, you have a dollar sign in front of it, okay? On any of the ones that have a dollar sign. So five, nine, 10, and it looks like that might be it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do number four together. So 36 into 86.4. I'm hoping it's by doing this a little bit bigger so you guys can see my work a little bit more clear. Now, again, I know 36 and then I know 72. After that, I don't know what my multiples are. So I'm going to go 36 times 3 is 108. 36 times 4 is 144. And hopefully I don't have to go past that, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Okay? So I'm going to lift up my decimal. First thing I do. Okay, goes directly up. Okay, that's why it's really important for you to line up your numbers. Okay, so 36 is not going to go into eight placeholder. Okay, I just want to make sure that I don't accidentally write my number there that is supposed to go here. Okay, so 36 is going to 86. It looks like twice is as good as I'm going to get, and that's 72. Okay, so when I subtract, I get six minus two is four, and eight minus seven is one. Okay, so now 
14 is smaller than 36, so I can go ahead and bring down my 4. 36 goes into 144, 4 times, which is 144, and get 0. Okay, so your answer is going to be 2.4. Okay, now you do need to show your work, pause it, write down whatever you need to write down, and then go back. Okay, the biggest part, guys, is remembering to put your decimal up. Okay, you guys have done division before. The biggest thing that you need to remember is to make sure you move that decimal up first thing. Okay, so you guys are going to finish through number 12. We are going to go down and do number 13. Okay, so 13 says on Saturday, 12 friends go ice skating. All together, they pay $83.40 for admission. How much? Oh, they share the cost equally. How much does each person pay? So I'm going to put $83.40 in the box, and I'm going to divide that by the 12 friends, okay? I do know my multiples of 12 pretty well. Um, if you need to, you can write them down over on the side. No shame for that, okay? So first thing, move my decimal straight up, okay? Next, 12 is not going to go into 8, okay? It will go into 83, so let's see, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84. Well, 84 is going to be too big, so we're going to go 72, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. 6, 6 times 12 was 72, subtract, okay? 3 minus 2 is 1, and 8 minus 7 is 1. Okay, now 11 is smaller than 12, so I can bring down my 4. Okay, now I'm going to do one more. Um, and see if we can't get, so that's another one is 96. And then 108. And then 120. Okay, all right. So when I do 12 into 114, it looks like the closest I'm going to get is 108. Well, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. Okay, 9 times that, 9 times 12 was 108. Okay, 4 cannot take away 8. I'm going to borrow 1, making that 14. 14 take away 8 is 6, and then I don't have to worry about anything else, okay? So... 6 is smaller than 12, so now I can bring down that last number, which is a 0 on this one, okay? And that's going to be this one. That's 5 times. 5 times 12 was 60. Subtract, hit 0. So your answer will be $6.95 each, okay? Write down your work, guys, okay? Okay. Okay, all right, number 14, get that paid off, okay. All right, number 14 says a team of four people participates in a 400-yard relay race. Each team member runs the same distance. The team completes the race in a total of 53.2 seconds. What is the average running time for each person? So, four people, and I know that they throw that 400 yards in there, you don't need it, okay? 53.2 seconds, okay? So we're going to take 53.2 and divide it by 4. Okay? Now, first thing, decimal, okay? 4 will go into 5 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract, and we get 1. Okay? 1 is definitely smaller than 4. Bring down my 3. 4 will go into 13 three times. 3 times 4 is 12. Subtract, get 1 again. One is smaller than four, so I can bring down that two. And we just said that four goes into 12 three times, which is 12, subtract and get zero. So 13.3, and it's being measured in seconds. So 13.3 seconds. Okay? Pause it, write down your work. Okay? All right. We're going to go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check. And we're going to do the style review. Okay, so let me turn my scratch paper. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, yes. I love these ones. So I'm going to rewrite the problem right here so that we have it. Okay. All right. So first, we're going to remember our PEMDAS. Okay, which just means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, and addition, subtraction. Okay. Write it down at the top of your paper if you need to. Okay. There's no shame in that. Okay. Just remind you of your steps. Okay. Now, when you are working with these problems that have multiple brackets, parentheses, Okay, you work from the inside out. Okay, so our first one is going to be this one. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite literally everything else in that problem. Okay, then I'm just going to fill in three plus one is four. Okay, done with that bracket. That bracket is no more. Okay, now the most inside bracket is going to be this one. So I'm going to rewrite everything else. Okay, so now 12 divided by 4 is 3. Easy peasy, guys. Don't make it harder than it's got to be. So now I'm going to do this bracket. Okay, 2 times 6 plus 3 is 9. And we can't forget that minus one. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, can't forget that minus one. Okay. So now we do multiplication and division first. Okay. So two times nine is 18 minus one. Your answer is 17. Okay. Write down your work. It is important to know how you got from point A to point B. Okay. So. Okay, your answer for that one is going to be 17. Okay, all right. Number four says, last month, Story biked 11 times as many miles as Carly. Together, they biked a total of 156 miles. Okay, how many miles did Dory bike? So, we have Carly and we have Dory. Okay. All right, together, they biked 156 miles, okay? So, if Carly did one time, then Dory did 11, because it says Dory biked 11 times as far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, okay? Together, they did 156. So all we have to do is take that 156 and divide it by the number of X's we have here. Now, I know that in our previous lessons, they did boxes, but we're fifth graders, okay? We just need to know how many we have, okay? So we know that we have 11 of them here plus that one. We're gonna divide it by 12, okay? So, and we, need, we know that we need to know how many these are all together for our final answer, okay? So, hold on just a second. So 12 isn't gonna go into one placeholder. 12 will go into 15 one time. One times 12 is 12, subtract and get three, okay? So now, three is definitely smaller than 12, so I'm gonna bring down my six, and 12 will go into 36. Three times, three times 12 is 36, okay. That means that each one of these X's is worth 13, okay? Each one of them, okay? So I'm just going to take that 13, and I'm going to multiply it by the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay? 13 times 11, I'm going to move that up so you guys can see it, okay? Well, the first row is just going to be 13, and then the second row, we're going to take Tack and toe, and then we're going to have 13. Add those up. Three, four, one. So 143 
and it's being measured in miles. 143 mi is miles, okay? Pause it, write down your work, guys, okay? That out just a little bit so y'all can see all of it, okay? Write down your work. It's important to know how you got from point A to point B, okay? All right, now, I got that, okay. Number five says Jim ran 15.2 miles over the weekend. He ran 6.7 miles on Saturday. How many miles did he ride on Sunday? Well, all we have to do is take that 15.2 and subtract 6.75. Now, remember, when we are adding and subtracting decimals, we have to line up our decimals, okay? If you don't like that there's nothing there, put a zero. It's after the decimal. It doesn't change it, okay? So we're going to go zero can't take away five. I'm going to borrow one, making it 10. 10, oh, I need to drop that decimal first. God messed with you. Okay, 10 minus 5 is 5. 1 cannot take away 7. I'm going to borrow 1, making that 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. 4 can't take away 6. I'm going to borrow that, making that 14. 14 minus 6, 8. 8.45 miles. Okay? All right. A bakery used 475 pounds of apples to make 1,000 apple tarts. Each tart contained the same amount of apples. How many pounds of apples are used in each tart? Okay, so okay, so we're going to have those 475, but we're going to divide it by the thousand because. Each one had its own. This is for a thousand, okay? We need to know how many are in one, okay? So we're gonna divide it by that thousand to tell us how many are in one. So I just put a decimal point at the end of 475 because if you had 475, you could put a decimal point there and it doesn't change it at all, okay? But since I'm dividing by a thousand, I know that I have to move my decimal one, two, three times because I have three zeros. So one, two, three, four point four seven five point four seven five pounds. Those are being measured in pounds. Okay. So you still got to write down your work, guys. Show it. Okay. Thanks for hanging out for 5.4. Come back for 5.5 soon. See ya.